Today we will attempt to classify IRIS data using support vector machine. IRIS is perhaps the best known database to be found in the pattern recognition literature. The data set contains three classes of 50 instances each, where each class refers to a type of IRIS plant. First of all we will use Pandas library to import CSV data into data frames. Pandas has a read CSV method to import CSV data that we will use. Copy the file address into the read CSV method to import the CSV data. You can check the code by printing the CSV data frame. Now that we have successfully loaded our CSV, let's assign the input columns to X variable. Again you can print the x variable, to ensure the success of your code. Now, let's assign the iris plants column, to the y variable. Let's also check the contents of y variable, to see if it is correctly assigned. Next step is, to import the support vector machine model, from scikit-learn library. We will need the support vector classification, for the classification of iris plants. We can train the support vector classification model, through fit method, by providing x and y variables. We used x dot values, because x is a data frame, which may result in warning message. You can check the training results, of a machine learning model, by printing its score. In this case, the resulting score is over 97%. Now that we have trained our support vector machine, let's move on to the visualization of training and prediction data. First of all, we need to convert our input x variable into two column data using scikit-learn principal component analysis.
you can confirm the conversion by printing the converted variable. Now we need variables to store data for visualization. X1 will hold the first column of converted X variable. X2 will hold the second column of converted X variable. YY will hold the values of Y variable. P variable will hold the predicted values. E variable will hold the difference of predicted and actual values. L variable will hold the number of predicted values not matching with actual values. Now let's compute each of these variables using a for loop. We will need to loop through all the rows of our data set. We will use append method to include new items into our variables. We will use print command to print each variable and see if it is correctly created. R represent the row number, while 0 and 1 represent the first and second column. Since Y already has single column, only row number is enough to extract a value. Now we will predict the value against each x, and store the result in the variable p. Now let's take the difference of P and Y, the predicted values and the actual values, and store them in variable E. The values in E, other than zero, represent false predictions by the model. Remember, our model only scored 97%. It is not 100% accurate. Let's count how many predicted values had a difference other than zero when compared to the actual data.
The printed result says, there were four predicted values, out of 150 total values, which were different from actual data. We will import, matplot library, for visualization. Let's plot these variables, on a scatter chart, and see how that looks. This chart shows, all three iris plant groups, in three different colors. Now let's plot predicted values, compared to their loss values, on another chart, and see how that looks. Please ask any question, or leave a feedback, in the comment section.